Welcome back, folks. Let's go into our bedroom. Before I go exploring. Okay. You've got a nice, clean, interesting room. A little cold, bubbly, and brie cheese is about all Gabriel's fridge ever has in it. Bills from last Christmas gather dust on the door. On the dough. Alright. What is Mardi Gras poster? The poster on the wall advertises Mardi Gras. The biggest party of the year in New Orleans. New Orleans. Alright. Can we pick up anything? Oh, that's a phone. Okay, I don't want the phone. Didn't realize that was a phone. The typewriter is too heavy to lug right. If I threw that stuff away, it wouldn't work. Gabriel might as well leave that. All my clothes look. Gabriel might. There's nothing, Gabriel. The bees. Gabriel. Gabriel. That. All right. Well, there's more than likely something here. Oh, that candle, maybe. I might need a flashlight. Or a flashlight, that's what it is. You can kind of tell the important stuff based on it. It does look a little Gabriel bit different. Alright. Let's head out of here. I'm, of course, missing stuff, folks. I'm expecting to miss stuff. Maybe I'm not. What is that thing, though? Gabriel cannot see any I guess it's nothing. Alright. Done. Gabriel. No, no, no. Go through the door. I mean, open the door. I'll be back later. Uh-huh. Bum, 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 bum. Okay, that's pretty neat. Historical Feudal Museum. Dixieland Drug Store. Alright, so that's our world map. Oh, and we're, we're badass with a motorcycle. Of course. Hey there, sugar. Hi. Uh -huh. Oh, that's a guy. All right, never mind. Let's talk to you a little bit. Gabriel cannot interrogate. There's no one there. There, there is. Gabriel, this dude. Gabriel can... There's no... Talking to that would be... Gabriel... No, I... There's... There's... Gabriel... I, I want to talk to him. Talky to him. Mind if I ask there you go. Questions. Ask about voodoo. Can you tell me what you know about voodoo? This is a novelty shop, monsieur. Uh, tell me about yourself. Tell me about yourself. My name is Willie Walker. I own the place. How about the voodoo murders? What do you know about the voodoo murders? Capri Sancro. What did you say? Nothing, nothing. Those killers have nothing to do with my shop, monsieur. I don't believe you. What did you mean when you said Cabri Saint Cor? I didn't say that. You did say that. You did. I heard you say it. You heard wrong, monsieur. I said no such thing. Well, it's French. What does that mean? Cabri Saint... God, I haven't taken French in... Eight years? How old was I? Something like that. Middle school. What can you tell me about New Orleans? I've lived here all my life, me. That's it. Tell me what that means. What did you it? <laughs> all right. There's no. There's no. Get up. Get. There's. Get. Get. Hi there. Is this your store? This is a Dixieland drugstore, and I own it, me. Name's Walker. Willie Walker. Wow, well this was very informative and... Hey, that Cabri song coal is something that I need. Alright, let's get out of here. I actually want to go back and talk to our chicky friend. Where is St. George's bookshop? Bum, 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 bum. Hello, beautiful. It's me. The 
excitement of seeing you is killing me. I missed the crown to put on his head. What am I going to do with a shield? Maybe I can give him a shield. <sighs> Alright, let's talk to you a little bit. Let's see what old Remy can anyways. get from you. What's up? I don't know what the different colors mean. Someone might be able to fill me in on that. Yeah, it's personal stuff. What can you tell me about voodoo? I didn't know much of anything about it until you started researching it for your book. Now I know that it's active in the city. There's that shop and museum. It can clearly be dangerous in the wrong hands. You should be careful investigating it. Also, folks, uh, good cool movie, Skeleton Key, if you've never seen it. it has to do with voodoo. Just what I read in the paper, same as you. Has a really neat twist. What can you tell me about New Orleans? Well, I've only been here two months, but I love it. It's so much more alive than any place I've been. It feels like anything is possible here. Do you know what Capri Saint Gaulle means? Hmm. No. Sounds French, though. Why, well, I, I told you that, or I knew that already. Tell me about yourself, Grace. You're right, Knight. I mean it. What do you want to know? How come we haven't gone out yet? I'm still waiting around for that lobotomy. As soon as I get it, I'll let you know. Oh. How do you like working at St. George's Books? Well, it's not exactly a huge intellectual challenge. Although the math in your record books could confuse Einstein. Still, I love old books, and it's a nice way to pay the bills while I explore the city for a summer. If you ever pay me, that is. Well, you know. What do you do after work? Well, I either go to my oil painting class or my Tai Chi. You know that. You know, you can go bored with this improving yourself stuff. You don't want to alienate us mere mortals. I suppose I should just allow my mind and body to atrophy. <laughs> Works for me. How old are you? Old enough to know about men like you. Just tell me anything at all. I just got my master's in history and classics. My folks wanted me to go on right away for my PhD, but 18 years of school was enough. I needed a break. Indeed. Nothing, I guess. Never mind. Stick yourself. All right. Let us learn about messages. Do you have messages for me? Dana called, and uh, Susie left a message about a lawsuit. Oh, lovely. Awesome. <laughs> Okie dokie. There's more when you want them. Do you have more messages for me? Your grandmother called. I keep meaning to get over there. What did she say? Did she sound good? She sounded great, and we oh. had a nice little chat about you. That wasn't even the timer. That was my timer to wake up. Don't worry. I didn't go into detail about your cardinal sins. Not that anything about you could surprise her. She adores you anyway. She's my girl. But she said to remind you to stop by and go through your father's things. Mm, okay. All right. That's important. Do you have more messages for me? Here's a strange one. You got a call from someone named Wolfgang Ritter. He said he was calling from Germany. He told me it was urgent. Maybe you should give him a call. Call Germany? Like hell. If it's really important, he'll call back. Well, fine. Let's just hope he's not with the German lottery for pitiful American authors. Hey, now. All right, folks. I'm going to cut the video off here. As always, thank you very much for watching, and I hope you're enjoying so far. Thanks for watching, folks.